President Trump is doing what no one else is doing. And that includes going to... You know, you know I'm going to show it to you. So they call President Trump a racist. Uh, look at that. You think Joe Biden could do this? Oh, boy. I don't think so. All Americans love President Trump. Oh, boy. They're going to drain the swamp. Maybe the Democrats... I'm smiling because guess what? Look at all the beautiful patriots that are tuned in right now, man, on this beautiful day, special day, man. Happy Father's Day. I love you guys, man. Do not take this time for granted, man. I encourage y'all to call your loved ones today. Give them a hug for me, especially your fathers, man. Whether it's your grandfather or father figure, call them, text them, give them a hug for me today, man. It's very, very important, y'all. We live in a very, very fast time travel, y'all. Very, very fast time travel, man. And I would do anything to talk or call or hug or fist bump or go on a fishing trip or to work on a car or laugh with my father again, man. You know, and he's been gone for almost a year now. Rest in peace to Rick Sr., man. If y'all know the story on the channel, you, you know my story. It, um, it is heartbreaking. A lot of y'all know the story. I don't want get to on, get on here crying. Because we do have an amazing video we're trying to get into, you guys. But uh, that's what I encourage, man. Happy Father's Day. I love y'all, man. Salute to all the beautiful patriots around the world. But y'all know it's time to drain the swamp, y'all. And we are ride, man. Every light is on in the dashboard. The check engine light, the tire light, everything. We need new tires. We riding, though. The thing runs hot. We don't know if the truck is on empty or full because the gauge stopped working. Yeah. We're riding, though, y'all. And we encourage everybody to go out and vote, man. But it's here, man. And y'all see the new data of the polls, people waking up, people showing them so much love. And we are out in Detroit. Shout out to Detroit, man. Where the Detroit family at, baby? Man. They are freaking out, y'all. A lot of them. They're melting down. They're shocked. They can't believe what's going on. They see everybody waking up. And yes, indeed, black vote is there, y'all. Y'all know I don't. Y'all know how I feel about the race card, man, and how you know pulling the race card because it's one love, and it's the human race. One race, the human race, y'all. I love you guys, man. But uh, let's jump straight into this. I c I couldn't wait to get into this, y'all. I really couldn't. You know what I'm saying? And we're spreading that love and positivity. I'm feeling good today, y'all. Yeah, happy Father's Day. It's a good day today, man. I know America isn't America anymore. People are struggling at an all-time high, man. But, you know, there is something to smile about. I can tell you that. There's always something to smile about. Remember that. There's always something to smile about. No matter how bad things look, how bad things are right now, there's always something to smile about, man. God bless you all and your families. Let's jump straight in, y'all. It, uh, and Fox titled this one, Trump came back to the hood, to the hood, to the ghetto. We've done more for, and I say this, I say it proudly, more for the black population than any president since Abraham Lincoln. That's a big statement. Big statement. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, man, I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. For real. Y'all spread that love, baby. And oh, he got Brian Donalds over there. That Brian, y'all say that's the VP, huh? And crooked Joe Biden has done nothing for you except talk. It's only talk. He's been the worst president for black people. Under Biden, real wages for African-American workers are down 6%. We lifted 6.6 .6 million people out of poverty. Black Americans saw their largest increase in home ownership on record. Former President Trump slamming Biden's record with black voters in Detroit as the two candidates are neck and neck in the key swing state. Our next guest joins us live from Detroit, where he spent a few hours with Trump at yesterday's event. It's Michigan Congressman John James, who joins us now. Congressman, thanks for being with us. Um, hey, thanks for having me back on. You bet. You hear Trump's message to the black voter. We see some polling suggest he's really starting to resonate to some extent with the black voter. Uh, what do you think about that? in Detroit as a possible effect uh, in, for the way we see Michigan go in November? 
And look, in, in, in 2016, Donald Trump came into Detroit and asked black Detroiters what we had to lose. Eight years later, Joe Biden has shown us. President Trump came back to the hood with the receipts. He went back in. He talked about rising crime. He talked about uh, rising interest rates. He talked about rising inflation. All things that things that matter, man. And again, y'all, he is making some. I don't mean to interject. I'm sorry. I know y'all want me to just play it, but he's making some brilliant moves, man. Brilliant, brilliant moves. You know. Again, I, I won't be surprised if this is a landslide, a landslide. But again, we encourage everybody to get up off your and go vote. Go vote, y'all. You know, go vote. I know they say it's there, Rick. Just don't, don't, don't. It's there. We just got to worry about who's collecting and counting. Oh boy, that hurt Black Sad. Americans the most. Hurt all Americans, but hurt Black Americans the most. And Pastor Sewell, I think, made a very appropriate point that President Trump was in the neighborhoods. Joe Biden goes to a big special dinner at the NAACP, and and I'm not even sure President Obama even visited. The neighborhoods in detroit but yeah. president trump once again is showing up republicans are showing up Active. not just with with facetime but with better policies than the democrats well this is what you're referring to uh, lorenzo sewell the senior pastor at 180 church said this about obama and biden president trump i'm so humble that you would be here president obama never came to the hood so to speak right to the president hood. Wow. joe biden he went wow. to the big naacp dinner but he never came to the hood so thank you. You know, the thing is, though, Congressman, on one hand, you see this outreach. On the other, uh, this outreach, you will see a ton of messaging fed to say in some way or another. Yeah, but Republicans are racist. Huh. Well, you know, these are their talking points because Democrats refuse to take accountability for the fact that yep. African-Americans have been doing worse decade after decade after decade after the Great Society. Uh, Democrats and and uh, in, in, uh, frankly, have been failing African-Americans, but we can't just point the finger at Democrats. Republicans have refused to go into cities and to campuses all over the country. And we have to do what the original Republicans did, march down into where people are being oppressed. Then in the slavery times, it was oppression of the body, uh, physical bondage. Now we have the obligation to go in and have an alternative suggestion, alternative ideas, and give people the opportunity to be free from the mental bondage that Democrats have over. I, I absolutely believe that if 95% of African Americans continue to vote for one party, then neither party is going to have to work for the vote. In the past, Republicans have uh, have ignored the black vote because we don't think we can get it. Democrats have neglected it, but that is changing with President Trump. We are making the case, we are showing up, and people are beginning to take mm -hmm. notice. And Donald Trump is tied in the state of Michigan because this is a real race. It's not just about black and white. It's not even about red and blue. It's about have right. and have nots. And Democrats Amen. are making excuses. And Michigan is the center of the universe uh, in 2024. Really fascinating uh, uh, way to say it, you know, to transition from physical bondage into into modern day mental bondage. You also said this on, on X uh, in honor of Father's Day. You tweeted the following. My dad couldn't attend college across the street from his house because he is black. Today, his grandson, his namesake, sat uh, um, with sat on the 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 dais the dais with me on the most powerful committee in Congress. God bless America. Still, the only nation where a family can go from emancipation to energy and commerce in just a few generations. Uh, pretty incredible. It is pretty incredible. We're blessed to be Americans, and so we have an obligation uh, as dads, in particular, to make sure we pass Shout on that father. blessing of uh, freedom and liberty to uh, to future generations. I had the opportunity Amen. as the first freshman since 2011 to be on Energy and Commerce uh, Committee um, to uh, to bring my son to to speak on the remarkable health care legislation that we got passed through committee last week. And I was only able to do that by the grace mm -hmm. of God and a strong father who protected us, provided for us, and showed us that even though this nation has warts, we have an obligation to d pursue a more perfect union. And uh, by teaching my son that he has a personal responsibility to give back to this great country 
is a part of my job as a dad. Uh, my father's a is a combat veteran, a Vietnam veteran. I'm a, a bits, war terror veteran, and uh, and graduated from West Point. I, I recognize that uh, my father never wanted me to follow in his footsteps. He wanted me to be better, and I think that's what wish that every father has for their sons, for them to be better. So, uh, with that being said, thank you, Dad. I love you. Happy Father's Day, and uh, in particular uh, for all the people uh, in in my district, in the uh, in the Brooklyn's area in particular who were affected by the psychopath who went on a rampage yesterday at the splash pad. Mm -hmm. uh, my hearts are with you as you uh, no father should spend Father's Day in a hospital. And yeah. we're continuing to pray and doing everything we can at every level of government to uh, bring resolution to your families and, and make sure this never happens. Well, an incredible personal story. Thank you for those sentiments at the end. Incredible per personal story as well that you share with us. And so happy Father's Day, Congressman. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm all right, y'all. You good, you know. I apologize for getting a little emotional. But uh Father's Day is a y'all know it's a little different for me, so you know. Um uh, and it's different for a lot of people around the world. You know, there's somebody right now that's struggling as well through this uh day. So just wanna spread that love to you. You know, like I tell y'all, man, this channel is uh bigger than me, man. You know. And uh, that's why we spread so much love on this channel. This channel is bigger than me, man. There's somebody right now that's going through the same thing. That's feeling the exact same way I'm feeling. It's probably feeling worse. But, uh, you know, don't take time for granted, man. Keep being amazing people. Amazing fathers. Amazing parents. Shout out to our, our, our fathers and mothers out there, man. I would do anything, man, to, to talk to him again or laugh or give him a hug, you know, go on another fishing trip, you know, anything in the world, man. Just like that. That's how quick it is, man. We live in a fast time travel, y'all. But we're cleaning the boards, man. You know? We're cleaning the boards. We're swinging it. And it's there, y'all. It is there. Everybody talks about the black vote, this and that. Everybody, you know, them on the other side, they pull the race card a lot. But I told y'all, a lot of people are waking up, man. This 2024 election is going to be the most important one we have. It's very, very important, man. We encourage everybody to go out and vote. But again, I have an amazing day, special day, Father's Day. Spend time with your loved ones. Call them, text them, give them a hug for me. You know, and love on your fathers, man. Please, please. It's very, very important, man. You know, do not take it for granted. Because just like that, just like that, man. But. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. And um, God bless you all and your families, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one.